right, so we are live on the Travel Channel page, waiting for everybody to join in here. Oops, we need to turn this way so we can reveal comments. All right, we're waiting for the other guys to come in here. We gotta tag everybody in. We're all all over the place right now. All right, there's Mike. All right, here we go. In here, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I hear them. I hear them. There, there they are. What's going on? It's amazing, amazing what technology, technology, technology does for us today. Man, you guys got a nice night finally out there. No kidding. The, the, the bottom's not bad now. We don't have a live show we had before. No, but it looks like you're in front of a green screen. Green, uh, green with some scenery. <laughs> <laughs> we we are. Yeah. Well, we're stuck in a hotel room. It's like 100 degrees here in Missouri, but uh, it looks really nice out there. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, that's what I was going to tell everybody, too, man. man. Sorry, Sorry that I'm not up in Missouri, but I've got to take a trip with my family, so. It's kind of crazy week here for me, so I apologize. You get my family first. Yeah. Right. Man. You got to have it. Well, I don't know. There, we don't see any comments or anything on this side. You don't see any comments? You have to swipe your screen. Do you swipe your screen to right or left? Oh, oh there they are. Yeah. We see comments on our side now. Uh, uh, if you've got, you got another phone, phone or another phone, 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 Stand by, stand by, stand by. How's that? Oh, that's great, 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 great technology. technology. Are you good now? Uh, uh. We still got that guy. Okay. okay. You good? None of us have. We're, none of us have it on. No. We'll roll, we'll roll with it. All right. Let's see. We got all kinds of comments, comments coming in here now. I see Jay in the house. What's up, Jay? Jay. Directly. Okay. Okay. So, so we are, we are echoing. Echo. Yeah, ready for Idaho. Do you want? Do we need to like leave and come back in to see if it fixed the problem or? I think it's just has to the volume. volume has to go. Oh. It's super. Know, it's bro. super low on this side. I'll go down some more. All right, all right. Let's see what happens now. All right, how about still echoing? Like all, right, all right, let's, let's try. try. Let's, let's jump, 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 jump out. out. We'll bring, bring you right back, back in. in. All right, stand by. going just okay. like live television just Great. like live but hey we can fix that so are we echoing now since we dropped them out are we echoing because what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring them right back in and see if that fixes the issue hopefully we can bring them back in well oh, we can bring them back in nobody can tell us yet see there's such a delay we ask a question and it just takes time so but it's building. Look at this. What's up, everybody? All right, we're still echoing. Okay. What in the world? Why is it echoing? I don't know. Maybe, maybe turn our volume down a little bit and balance it out, maybe. I don't know. Our volume is down. Let's see. Let's see here is headphones. Well, you know what? I don't think I have headphones out here. I see. tried that last time. The headphones won't work. I don't know why. Let's see. I wonder. I don't know. We're the Wraith Chasers. This is just how we do things. You feel like trying one? Sure. Why not? We'll try it and see what happens. See if this will You hear a little blue loop yet? So, okay, let me see here. Oh, Jen says we're good now. No echo. Well, well, whatever. If this aren't working, we'll take them out and we'll put them up. So let's see. Let's see if we can add Mike. All right. Where is you at? I am looking. Holy cow. Okay. Let's see. There. Wait a minute. Mike, there you are. <laughs> there's like, there's 560 people, people in here. So I'm here, trying so to find Mike. Mike. All right. There, there he is. is. And we're back. <laughs> All right. 
So, sorry about that. We were trying to find you guys, and there are like 577 people in here. It's all good, man. All right. All right. No echo. Who's that? Hey, what's up, Mason? All right. So, who's, who's ready for tonight's episode? <laughs> Me too. All right. But this one, hey, man, this one's a good one. I, uh, you know, I saw a little bit of it, and uh, just from experiencing it, oh, my gosh, the recreation that we did at the prison, uh, not to mention the interactions that we had the next night. I mean, that was just oh. icing on the cake. Yeah. yeah you, you think between everything that, that went on between the two places, from the prison and all the way to the high hope one, man, it was mind-blowing to me. Well, the history is, like, really, like, messed up for, like, a better word. I mean, Oh my gosh! And and the intelligent interaction that we got. Yeah. You know, I mean, we got we got words that were specific to the uh, to the to the crime. Right. I think I think for the last I think what three months since we've been back from filming, people ask like, "What's your favorite place?" And we always say Hawaii, of course. But um, this was an episode that when we do talk about the little things we were able to talk about, this was my favorite. Um, location that we've been to, I think the activity we got, I think the responses we got, the entire story, the way it all connected by the end of us filming there for that week. This is the one, if you remember the question, whoever you were that were asking it, this is the one, tonight's the night for that. It's almost like we were paranormal detectives on this case. Uh, <coughs> it just, uh, you know, they told us where to go. They told us the answer, you know, they completely answered every question that we asked, and it was just like, yep. I mean, we'll let you guys decide when you watch it what you think, but uh, I know what I think. Yeah. It's almost like the it's, it's all in place, you know, we have that app sometimes, that it's just a maximum space, you know, vice versa. It's very rare that we've ever had that the other side actually leads us on the path, you know. And this season, it seems like we had a few episodes that that happened, and this was one of the ones to get the answers. And uh, I don't know, it, it was mind blowing. Right? It's crazy. It's crazy. Hey, like Dougie said, that's how we do that. Are you guys? Oh no, they're back now. No, they're you back. guys were freezing up. We were echoing so bad in our ears, it was horrible. The TWC way. Yeah, yeah there, right. <laughs> hey, Laura Thompson. LT. <clears throat> It'll be very good, Brian. Hey, we're gonna... we got a lot of people in the house tonight. Yeah, we do. If anybody's wow. been watching on Twitter or reading on Twitter, James McDaniel. Everybody remembers him, Peppermint Fatty from Haunted Live. He's uh kind of running. We're gonna get five pounds. Trending tonight, so it's up to you to make that happen. And um, we're gonna throw in a TWC prize pack for so the thing is, tonight he says, according to uh, James McDaniel, hashtag haunted towns as much as you can. You have to use at least three words. He posted videos about it, but um, if you at least 50 tweets tonight with the matter. Sounds like somebody's got a blanket going. Like, you, know, you sound like you're like the person talking to me at the drive-thru at one of these restaurants where it just cuts in and out and whistles and drives and all this stuff. Hey, it's the ghost. So at, at, it's the ghost in the box. At least 50 tweets from me tonight. But if you think you have the most, contact contact James McDaniel at Peppermint Fatty. And if you think you have the most, he will let us know who the winner is. And whoever has the most tweets within an hour of the episode, you win a TWC swag bag. Get on that Twitter. Nice. It's the Leonard Skinner. Nothing <laughs> <That's normal. laughs> like, like a t-shirt, t-shirt and old beef jerky. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hard to eat, man. Hey, yeah, some of it. Ship <laughs> <laughs> two. But we really want to preach your buddy to you in. Uh, keep it on the town live. I mean, you guys are the reason why we've been able to do this. And uh, we want to thank you from the bottom of our heart for tuning in week in and week out where we're on. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see it keep rolling. You know, keep on the race chasers all over the United States and hopefully abroad. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah
And thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Be sure to follow all of us on all our social media to keep up with us and catch the latest information where all of us are going. Yeah, guys, we always got something crazy to post, I'm sure. <laughs> no kidding. What is that, Brian LePin? Bear time. Bear time. <laughs> no, it's haunted town. I like when you see people walk oh, two hotel rooms over. Because <laughs> half these people are here tonight. I love it. Oh, AT's in the house. All right. We got West. Drink some, drink some coffee and stay up behind it down. There you go. Backstage, backstage. What does it say? Oh, I can't see. It's going by fast. Hey, we should get some questions. Yeah. This is point. Hey. Now, do you guys have any uh, questions specifically? Uh, no problem. No problem. <laughs> I hear it too. I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> Ain't my oh, it's no. not over here. <laughs> I, think it's very, I think it's funny very funny. funny. <laughs> I know. It's yeah. like, we love you guys too, but yeah. it's, it's like, oh, they can't answer questions. Yeah. Maine, Maine, and the Gauss and the Gauss. Oh, yeah. I think <laughs> I think you mean house, but yeah. we, thanks for watching, Maine. Please. Why are you not together this episode? I don't, I don't get what you're saying. Like the episodes were shot months ago, and we're all over in different states. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we don't spend the night together every night. We would be, we would all be oh. dead. We would all have murdered yeah. each other by now. <laughs> we don't have to totally for that. You don't want a car ride with all these guys here, or even a plane ride. <laughs> Hello, Howard. There's oh, a question. There's a question. There's a question. Scariest part about tonight's location. All right. Um, yep. Prison. Who wants to go prison? Prison. Uh, prison we all may have different, uh, you know, answers to that, but mine was definitely the prison, man. That place was absolutely crazy. Uh, we went up there, the activity we got, the UDPs that we got, and then, of course, Chris, we got him onto a dolly. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, I had a good time. <laughs> hey, you know, for me that was very nerve wracking. I mean, you kind of put yourself in the same situation, uh, and you guys will see it uh, later tonight. What we do sometimes we try to do these recreations to see if we can elicit some sort of response if we bring you know the same situation that they had. We try to bring it in there and see if we can get uh, some sort of intelligent response. And we got a lot of intelligent response off of that. We did. We got this constant beeping. It's over here. It's over here. It's over here. I think also it's like when uh, filming it, it's like you're separated, beep beep. And uh, but when you when you watch it and we watch it and we saw where you guys were and the responses you guys got that. Well, you don't know the story, but when you watch it, you, know, you, start, you, some crazy you gotta watch it because I mean. Crazy, stupid stuff that happens in the story of the history of what happened, what these people did, and yeah. you can see that a response that you guys got, you, know, you just have to see it. To me, when you're watching something like that, you get the damn moments. I thought that was uh, pretty cool. That was it. Yeah. I mean, it's completely. drive through food order taker. <laughs> yeah. I will say exactly what I said. Back, you can't see his hat. And it just looks like a floating head in the trees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of Thanks for watching, Laura. Yeah. Hope everything goes well. We'd love to go to Maine. Huh? Yeah. Keep watching tonight, though, guys. This, this episode is amazing. I mean, we had things that were peeping around corners at us. And you're probably here to talk about that in the show. The, the intelligent interaction, the stuff that substantiates the historical documents that we are, the historical information that we gather. I mean, Mike said it, but it's, it's such a uh, supporting investigation that you love it. It's the floating head. Definitely one of my top on this, uh, probably the top, actually, for this entire season. Just the storyline, the history we learned, and everything that, I don't even want to say kind of rewrote the history, but from what we learned it was to what it became. I thought it was uh, pretty, pretty cool. You know what's crazy yeah. about this season is, is like I thought last week was my favorite, but then I, I start remembering all the places that we've been in this season. Yeah. It just keeps getting.
getting better and better. Like every time it's like, oh, this week's Idaho, it's like, oh, oh, oh I forgot about yep. it. And then they'll tell us the next week's episode, and it's like, wow, I just can't fit. We had so many great locations. Yeah, I mean, too, uh, going out west is totally different when you go out to Idaho from Tennessee, you know, I mean, kind of different like the history, you know, back where people didn't have a whole lot of laws, a whole lot of law enforcers, you know, took it into their own hands. Things went nuts. Plus, it was nice to get out of the Civil War for a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, but, you know, it's nice oh, to do it. We've done a lot of Civil War investigation, you know, from the South. It's in our heart, it's in our soul to try to investigate those types of locations around us. But it was nice to be able to go up to the Northwest and uh, check that those types of uh, parent, that type of paranormal claim because it is a little bit different when you start delving into the history, especially. I mean, I know Porter knows that, but you know, it kind of goes over into the investigation as well as you guys will see tonight. Yeah. It's almost kind of cool because, you know, like you say, we're, we're the Civil War all the time. Mm -hmm. Being able to go out there and get in those old western towns, the gold, the gold rushes and things like that, I mean, that's a different experience for us because we don't get to touch base with that a whole lot where we live, you know, in the front, you know, over in the eastern part of the United States. So going out there was a nice change, and, I mean, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I mean, it was it was a great investigation everywhere we hit. Honestly, for me, yeah, this one was more recent history too. It wasn't like that that old history we normally dig into. So having something a little bit fresher to deal with was uh, was very interesting. This one, honestly, for me, I mean, aside from the paranormal part, I, the views, the mountains. I mean, that's it's absolutely breathtaking. Oh. Time they sit here and do our homework. They missed their 16th. They what? They went through those dots with them. Yep. Yep. This is me. Which one? Maybe something. Doogie Bait. I don't know what that means. That's hilarious. hilarious. See, I've said that our voices are not matching up with our lips. We look like a bad uh, Japanese film. Now, speaking of Echo Box, we got some pretty cool stuff this season. Guys will eventually see and find out. So, um, I'll wait and see. Does anyone get their equipment manipulated tonight? <laughs> I think we did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> That's what I meant. I yeah. uh, a lot better than last season. Well, thanks, oh, thanks Brian. I think. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Melvin? Six and 15 minutes. Mm. I'm not sure. I don't know either. I just keep hearing the beeping and the, oh, I want to order like a Big Mac and fries or something, you know? It must be louder on you guys' end because we, we hear it, but it's not as like dominant, I don't think. It's really low. It's, let's see if it's our lighting. Oh, Does that fix it? Nope. Now you're still beeping. It's so creepy. You have some invisibility cloak on. Whoa. And there it is. Wow. Need to come to St. Augustine. We would love to go to St. Augustine. We've been there once. Ghost Asylum season three. Castillo and Marcos. That was an that was an amazing investigation. Yep. I just remember saying Fuego like twenty years ago. <laughs> I got shot. Brandon got shot. St. Augustine. Well actually Porter now. We've been to St. Augustine. We took the light out. We yeah. haven't been there. Man, that place is amazing. We I don't know if we go back. Remember those owls at Brother Three? Yeah. I, I I went there to the lighthouse back in the Ghost uh, Hunters Academies days with uh, Steve and Tango when they were yelling at me, take those wires up the steps, guys. Let's do it snappy. <laughs> yeah, 200, what is it, 250-something steps? It's, it's a lot. And it was August when we filmed out there, too. Ooh. Ooh, That's never good. Hey, do you have any lessons? What's up, Melissa? Yeah, yeah, hashtag hashtag Town. When's when the second, second season, season start? start? Last, Last Friday, Friday night. Episode <laughs> <laughs> two is tonight. Up Ten, nine central. Travel down. I think people get confused when we do this live. They're asking if the episode was live earlier today. Yep. No, the episode is not live. This is live. This is now. <laughs> Somebody said you want to now. now. This is now. <laughs> but I got I to gotta tell you, this this kind of live is a little less nerve wracking. Than the haunted live that oh, we used God. to do. Oh, yeah. Because this is what yeah. I turn off right now. <laughs> oh, so nervous. 
Colorado. Yeah, so if, you, if, you, I mean, if, you, if you want a hashtag on his lab along the Bonnet Town, do that too. We can get season two. What's up, Jeff? Jeff Matt. Jeff Matt. Thank you for the year in the rain. I like it here, right? Minnesota. What's up, Minnesota? It's beautiful this time of year. Love Minnesota. All right. Who gets beat gets first on tonight's episode? Who gets what? I think, I think it was four. I think it was four. Four. I think it was I got yelled at by my mother for last week. Oh, <laughs> I, I was like, it's the yeah. first time in like, what, how many seasons have we done? Like six seasons of television? Yeah. It's like the first time. Come on, man. Like I think your mom would be really mad if she hung out with us for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. She couldn't do it. She'd be like, you don't ever come by house again. <laughs> I thought y'all were good boys. <laughs> <laughs> we are most of the time. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. Only the bees. That's my favorite. My twins. My twins. twins. Long ones. Beth, that was Texas. Beth, 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 Texas. 12 minutes to the show. Yep. Hey, Chris, can you say hi to my wife, CJ? What's up, CJ? Thanks for watching, guys. And there's probably, as of now, well, see, Brent. what do we got? Like, just, yeah, let's, let's, oh, I'm always that new daddy. <laughs> probably a little bit left from last week's auction, but we're going to a new auction going up tonight from uh, trinkets from tonight's episode. All goes to a good cause, 100%. Goes to Austin yep. Speaks, so bid yep. proudly. Thank you guys for your donations, by the way. That was an amazing donation yep. that we've already gotten up to tonight, so thank you guys so much. It goes to a good cause. Yep. And it's going to be up to yeah, you to get on a town's trending tonight. We're going to be on Twitter after we get off here throughout the entire episode. About to travel here at the hotel, so we're going to be watching right along with you. So we get to watch it this week. Yeah. <laughs> We hey, Brian, we are Christians, but we say beep sometimes. Yeah, that's right. We're Christians, but we say beep. Believe me, 90 percent of Christians probably have a belief in their lives. Try to go into oh. hey, try to go into some of these places that we go into and try not to say a bleep. Yeah. We try our best, and that's all we can do. Yeah. Melvin said ten minutes. I love the count. Ten minutes of the show. New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. All right. Well, the greatest distance award. Oh, my God. Right. Tonight we had some people, uh, Doogie, they say, hey, uh, from Australia. And Let me show you. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -oh. They gave us Vegemite. You know that yeah. tube of, like, green stuff that they spread on things in Australia? Yeah. Never <laughs> try this. Never try this. Ever. Never try it's this. <laughs> it's salt in a tube. Oh, it's so bad. Pure salt. I didn't so bad. <laughs> until we heard it in a song. You know the song? What did you put it on? Like a chip? I know. It comes out like toothpaste. Like a tube. Yeah, and you put it on bread. Thick. It's green. Well, it's like a brownish green. Let's say you try it on air right now. So are they are they up there from Australia? See that? Oh. <laughs> really salty. It is salty. Well, it's thank you. Good. Thank you very yes. much for the thought. <laughs> we're hoping they'll eat it before we get back. Like catfish bait that comes in. <laughs> Seriously. The thunder from down under is for real. <laughs> Somebody said that stuff is horrid. But I'll keep it forever. Thank you. They also had a very good time watching us try it, by the way. Oh, yeah. We all did. Oh, that's probably, you just said you'd keep it forever. That, they probably had it forever and never tried it. So that's probably. Oh, yeah. Probably. There you go. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Expiration date. date. Expiration date, 1986. Wow. <laughs> uh, All right, guys. You got eight minutes for showtime. Yeah. 
It's about time to get your popcorn together, your drinks. What do you think? Do it. Oh, I think maybe we got the challenge accepted. I'll do it. Oh, we got a challenge? Okay. Just that much. Look. Come on. Oh, uh, come on. More than that. No, your blood pressure. Scott. I'm so glad I'm down there. Oh, dude. I, oh. I spit mine out. Ah! <laughs> Man, that's crazy. That's pretty rough. It's really bad. This stuff is great. So it's actually catfish bait. Not for human consumption. It's worse when it's not. <laughs> well, Mike was going to watch the show. Do <laughs> they have a TV in the bathroom now? What's that? <laughs> Do they have a TV in the bathroom there so he can watch the show? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, your breath, bro. Horrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Half bait. Good. All right, guys. We're going to get off here so you guys can catch Honey Towns. And uh, we're going to run and do, I guess, the same or try. Yep. All right. We'll see you on Twitter. <laughs> Hashtag Haunted Live. Hound. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what screwed me up? I'm gonna I'm gonna blame James McDaniel for that. He put his video out there and he's like hashtag haunted live and I'm like no it's haunted towns but now it's haunted towns haunted towns towns thanks for tuning in all right guys yep y'all be safe have a good one we'll see you soon all right holla holla. holla.